Hey everybody, today I'm out here at the iconic Laguna Seca Raceway with Lexus because they're holding a Lexus Performance Driving School out here. Now it's not the Masterclass course that I'm attending today, it's their entry level course, which has a combination of events here. If you go to this side, you notice we have an autocross course. I think autocrosses are the best thing since sliced bread because you can have a ton of fun in everyday vehicles. Like the car right out there right now is a Lexus IS 350F Sport. It's definitely fun, it's not as fast as a BMW M340i, but it has excellent balance and this is exactly the kind of weekend fun you can have in your car without causing too much damage. Now you don't need to come to a Lexus performance driving course to do this. You can go to an SCCA event near you, but if you're interested in how these sorts of things go on and if you want some extra coaching to get the most out of your Lexus or really any car, you can come to something like this Lexus performance driving event. We not only have the autocross, there's also a skid pad over there, and of course you can drive the entire circuit here at Laguna Seca. Now to be perfectly honest, I found the course today so far to be a little bit on the basic side, but I still managed to improve my times in every segment here. So out on the autocross course, I will let you find that out as the video goes on, how much better I did, as well as out on Laguna Seca itself, which I have been out on probably 30, 40 times. Now, I'm really interested to see what the next segment is like, the Lexus Performance Driving School Masterclass, because supposedly those are gonna be coming up soon. They already started the Masterclass events recently, and they're gonna be bringing them back in 2021. Now let's talk about the general format of the event. The first thing Lexus does is divide everybody up into groups. I started in the classroom section here where they talk about general track terms so you know what they're talking about later on in the day like what is an apex, what do the flags on the track mean. They also discuss things like weight transfer, contact patch, braking application, throttle application, etc. These are skills that are not just applicable to track use or autocross use, but also to daily driving. And that's one of the missions of the Lexus Performance Driving School is not simply to make you more comfortable out on a track, although that's somewhere to start, obviously, but also to help improve your daily driving. If, for instance, you're looking for an interesting gift for your college kid, you want them to be a better driver or perhaps experience a track for the first time, this could be an excellent course to give them as a gift. The next thing we did was take LC500s out on the iconic Laguna Seca Raceway. Now, as I said at the beginning of the video, I have been on this track quite a few times before, so I did find this a little bit boring because it's done in a lead follow arrangement. But on the other hand, if you've never been out on a track, which is the purpose of this course, this is a good introduction to track driving. The reason we're playing follow the leader out on the track is so that way inexperienced drivers can get used to finding the right driving line out on a track, clipping that apex as close as possible, making sure you're turning in at the right location breaking at the right location, etc. Later on in the day, they do pick up the pace, but they never get as quick as perhaps I would like. If you want to visit iconic raceways in America and drive fast, this might not be the right course for you. But if you're looking to improve your driving skills and experience iconic raceways like Laguna Seca, then this could be a good fit. But for me at least, the skid pad and the autocross course were an awful lot more fun. If you ever get the opportunity to drive someone else's cars, ruin someone else's tires on a skid pad or on an autocross, you should absolutely leap at that opportunity because it really tells you a lot about driving dynamics at speeds that are much safer, much slower, easier to attain. According to Lexus, the point of the skid pad exercise is to improve vehicle control, learn how to enter a skid, exit a skid, and do a little bit of mild drifting, but I just found it way too much fun, so I ended up doing drifting, donuts, and whatever I was allowed to do out on the skid pad again, a lot of fun if you ever get the chance to do that. The next event is an autocross course. You can think of this as a small coned track. Basically, they take a big parking lot, in this case, the paddock area of the Laguna Seca Raceway parking lot, and they put out some cones, create a course there for you. Now, the big thing to know about courses like this is that your speeds are generally gonna be 35, maybe 50 miles an hour tops if it's a really big autocross course. I believe on this particular autocross course, the top speed was around 35 or 40 miles an hour. With this kind of course, however, it's not about speed. In fact, speed is really your enemy in many ways on an autocross course. Because if you go into a corner a little too hot, the front end will start to plow, nothing is going to be able to save you, especially if you tend to react by just stomping on the brakes and then turning your steering wheel, you're asking just too much of the front tires. Instead, this is about getting the right speed through all the corners, getting that speed dialed in to begin with, so that way you're entering and exiting the corners at exactly the right moments without hitting cones. Now. I'm usually fairly good at an autocross course. A lot of the events that I attend, I'm generally in sort of the 10% range. I'm never at the top, but I'm never at the bottom either. So I consider myself pretty good. 
Not to toot my own horn, but I was first or second at this particular event depending on the category. The big thing, however, is my improvement in time. My best time before I started getting coached by some of the driving instructors there ended up being about three seconds slower than my best time after the coaching. And three seconds in an autocross course is a pretty big deal. At the moment, Lexus is offering their driving school at three different locations. WeatherTech Raceway, Laguna Seca, that's where I took the course, Michelin Raceway at Road Atlanta, and Circuit of the Americas. As far as value goes, it's a decent program compared to some of the other manufacturer-sponsored track events, but if you're simply looking for discount access to autocrosses with some instruction there, you can find autocross instruction an awful lot less expensive around the U.S. They just won't give you access to drive out on a track like Laguna Seca. Well, thanks for watching everyone. If you're interested in the Lexus Performance Driving School, you can find more information over at Lexus.com. And again, I encourage everybody that's interested in performance driving to check out an SCCA style autocross course like this one near you. They're all across the United States. They're relatively inexpensive. This is the kind of thing that everybody can do on a weekend. Whether you're driving a Camry TRD or a Lexus LC500 or anything in between, autocross courses are just a ton of fun. Let me know what you think about that down there in the comment section below, and I'll see all of you later.